Western Washington, a place of both human civilization and natural wonders alike, houses some of the United States' most unique places. Home to all three of Washington State's national parks, this area not only attracts tourists by its bustling cities and driven economy, but by its astonishing natural sights and locations. Washington State provides shelter to 150 mammals and over 500 reported species of North American birds, ranking sixth in the nation as the state with the most bird species. With the entire coast along the Pacific Ocean and directly within the Pacific Flyway, Western Washington offers some of the most unique bird experiences of our country. Often glanced over and not paid a second thought to by the average passerby, the birds in our region are a key part of what makes Washington special and can give us a clue into the health of our beautiful land. As we take a tour through Washington's greatest natural wonders, we'll take a look at some of the birds that call our state home, along with the problems that they face. We'll start with a particularly special family of birds to the state of Washington, shorebirds. During shorebird migration, from July to as late as December, shorebirds are abundant on Washington's coastal areas. But winter is not to be dismissed, for many of Washington's species can be seen during, or even exclusively, in the winter months. Take, for example, the black turnstone. With rocky shores and spraying waves, this area is prime habitat for the turnstone. Staying true to its name, black turnstones will often forage for their food by turning over stones to look for aquatic invertebrates like limpets and crustaceans. Another shorebird seen only during the winter months of Washington's coast, the fun and fast sanderling. Seen most often in groups, sanderlings will follow a constant pattern of waiting for an incoming wave and scurrying after it as it recedes, picking up the leftovers, small crabs, worms, amphipods, and other small invertebrates. Though only two examples of the many shorebirds that inhabit this area, these two birds provide a small look into the world that resides along Washington's edge. As we move farther from Washington's rocky coasts and striking shoreline, we come across a variety of different habitats and ecosystems. One of these being the magnificent North Cascade Mountains. Serving as a barrier between west and eastern Washington, the North Cascades are home to an astounding 200 bird species. In winter, much of the North Cascades is left inaccessible. But the few places you can still visit are just as spectacular as in the summer. One of these places is the iconic Diablo Lake. Though not all of Diablo Lake is accessible every winter, it still serves wonderful views and even though it may not seem like it, a hiding abundance of wildlife. Hiding along the lake's frozen edges is a species of bird that is incredibly unique. A medium-sized gray bird that lives in Washington year-round along streams, rivers, and lakes, the American Dipper. It seems impossible that such a drab, small bird could withstand the freezing water and harsh winters of the North Cascades, but the American Dipper is hiding a fascinating survival technique under its thick coat of dull gray feathers. In order to survive, it has a low metabolic rate and extra oxygen-carrying capacity in its blood, allowing it to dive under the surface of the water to catch its prey any time of the year. A common sight in the higher altitudes of western Washington, the American Dipper is truly a fierce little bird with the ability to adapt to any harsh conditions nature throws at it. And it lives as proof, along with many other species that inhabit the North Cascades, that every corner of Washington's diverse habitat is crucial to a diversity of life forms. South of the North Cascades, near Olympia, is another unique habitat that is home to over 250 reported bird species. One of Washington's 23 National Wildlife Refuges, the Billy Frank Jr. Wildlife Refuge, is a popular spot for wildlife lovers, photographers, and birds. 
With a wide range of habitats within the refuge, you can see everything from sparrows to shorebirds to harriers and hawks. In the woodlands and riparian forest, songbirds and mammals find shelter in the canopy of trees, such as this song sparrow foraging for insects on the ground and in the trees. The Nisqually River and various sloughs that run through the forests provide habitat for birds like the iconic great blue heron that basks in the warm sun on a log or sneaks through the reeds, keeping a sharp eye for small fish scurrying through the water. But finally, as visitors make their way through the forests, they reach the crowning jewel of Nisqually's habitats, the wetlands and estuary. In the fields, birds of prey take advantage of the tall grass and vegetation. As an ideal habitat for small rodents, such as mice and voles, this area also provides a perfect hunting ground for raptors, such as the red-tailed hawk and the northern harrier. But these birds aren't always willing to share this seemingly abundant habitat. The juvenile red-tailed hawk perches on his lookout, searching the open field for potential prey. But not far off, another bird has a similar idea. This northern harrier sits several meters away, eyeing the hawk from a distance. This bird wants the field, and all the food inside it, to himself. As the harrier plans his attack, the hawk continues to search for prey, unaware of its competitor sitting not far away. The harrier hones in on its target, keeping a focused eye on the hawk's every move. But, just as the harrier prepares to attack, the red-tailed hawk decides, maybe this isn't quite the right spot. The harrier's plans derailed, he goes back to perching contentedly. Now he can focus on the thousands of rodents quietly hiding in the tall, sheltering grass. On the other side of a field... A smaller bird watches from its perch, the western meadowlark, a petite brown and yellow bird found throughout western and midwest United States, is right at home in the refuge's short winter native grasslands. After observing the commotion on the other side of the field, the meadowlark decided it's lunchtime. Camouflaged in the pale brown grass, it forages along the ground for grain. In the summer, the meadowlark's diet will change to insects like beetles, ants, and grasshoppers. The western meadowlark is another example of the wonderfully unique birds that call the Nisqually Wildlife Refuge home. But this magnificent state that many call home is not exempt from the ever-looming threat that is currently facing our planet. Climate change is the number one threat to all of Washington, America, and the world's 18,000 bird species. In fact, according to the National Audubon Society's 2019 climate report, two-thirds of North American bird species are at increasing risk of extinction from global temperature rise. According to the Washington State Audubon Society, climate models predict that as temperatures continue to rise, Washington will begin to experience hotter and drier summers along with warmer and wetter winters, springs, and falls. This can cause less snowpack, warmer waters, and increased wildfire threat. The wildlife that call Washington home will have to adapt and will likely suffer tremendously. Even the American Dipper, the hardy aquatic songbird that can seemingly survive any tough conditions, would lose approximately 31% of its habitat in a three degree Celsius increase. The intense and competitive northern harrier would lose 39%. And though these species can adapt and will slowly gain some habitat as they lose it, they won't be able to adapt forever, and neither will we. Action on our climate needs to be taken now for the sake of our birds, our state, and our lives. <laughs>